Neil, your lab's been testing bleaches for us. What's the verdict? You mean which killed germs longest in the lavatory? Yes. My test did find a winner which killed germs longer. Look at these samples. We took them from lavatories after a number of flushes. Here's the bleach that came second. Germs are beginning to breed again. But the winner is still killing germs. Get a name it for us. It's Vortex. In these tests, Vortex killed germs longer. That's a scientist's verdict. Now here's a cereal you haven't seen before. Kellogg's Raisin Splits. There's raisin in the middle. Kellogg's Raisin Splits. It's the perfect combination. Oh, wee, great tasting raisin. All wrapped up in a perfect square. It's really unexpected to find it there. There's raisin in the middle. Kellogg's Raisin Splits. Raisin in the middle. You're gonna like it there. Raisin in the middle. New Kellogg's Raisin Splits. There you go, Campbell's Meatballs with Pasta. Relief. Do you enjoy being with children? Could you give some time to help provide handicapped children with lots of fun, activities and outings? Then we need you. We are Cherish, and our aim is to give support to handicapped children and their families during school holidays. You must be reliable and committed, as many of our children have very special needs. Help a child have a good time these holidays. Write to Cherish, P.O. Box 13, Southampton. He threw $100 bills around like confetti, gave away a Rolls Royce and a diamond-studded watch, but no one rips off the world champ anymore. In this week's TV Times, Mrs. Mike Tyson, the new power behind the throne, tells why. He's just a big, cuddly teddy bear, really. In part two of Johnny Briggs' own story, read how Crossroads led to Coronation Street. There's a final chance to win in the Mighty White Game. New at-a-glance program details and five pounds off these sunglasses. Only in this week's TV Times. TV Times. There is a real buzz of expectation here at Luton Town. The whole setting has been transformed. The stage, Barry McGuigan's fight against the world number four in the super featherweight division, Brazil's Thomas de Cruz. Barry calls it a semi-final for a world title. A good win and the door could be wide open for a world championship challenge. Defeat and that could be the end. The motivation is clear. That fight is just over an hour away. Join us then at 10.20 on ITV. Just about to start over on Channel 4, tonight's Film on 4 Extra, The Ploughman's Lunch. You're watching TVS, now at 9 o'clock. We're going over to the studios of ITN for the news. The news from ITN. A policewoman reenacts the final tragic moments of Marie Wilkes. The Royal Navy changes course to beat anti-nuclear protesters. Connors takes five sets and a lot of nail-biting to stay in Wimbledon. And the Dutch celebrate their first European soccer championship. Good evening. A woman police constable tonight retraced the last tragic steps of the murdered mother, Marie Wilkes. Detectives stopped passing motorists on the M50 motorway where Mrs Wilkes was abducted and stabbed a week ago. Several other people are still being questioned after the release of an artist's impression of a man seen with her just before she died. Mrs Wilkes disappeared as she was making an emergency telephone call on the M50 near Tewkesbury after her car had broken down. Hundreds of motorists were questioned this evening in the area around the murder spot. Police hope this huge exercise involving 150 officers will jog people's memories about last Saturday. We're carrying out a road check in connection with the murder last weekend with the young lady Maria Wilkes who was making an emergency phone call from the opposite carriageway between here and the last inter uh, intersection you came through. Can you tell me, did you travel along this road at all last Saturday at this time? No. Marie abandoned her broken down car here on the hard shoulder around 20 to 8 in the evening a week ago and walked a few hundred yards to an emergency phone box. A woman police officer with a close resemblance to Marie and wearing similar clothes reenacted her last moments. Marie phoned the emergency service from here and asked for assistance. It was while she was making that call that a stranger pulled up. He struck her a vicious blow to the head. Some of her blood was found near the phone and bundled her into his car. Several eyewitnesses say they saw a large silver grey family saloon here, three miles away, where Marie's body was eventually found. Marie had been stabbed in the neck and left to bleed to death. 